Warning. Listening to this show may result in increased levels of inspiration, motivation, and innovation. Side effects can include the immediate urge to take massive action to build a better business and life for yourself and others. You've been warned. Welcome to Influencers Radio with your host, Jack Mize. And welcome back to another episode of Influencers Radio. Uh, Today, we are going to be talking about something that is actually a really popular uh, subject, and I get questions all the time because, one, it's one of those things that people want to do, know they should be doing it, especially entrepreneurs, uh, business coaches, service providers, just about any industry, but they sometimes are deathly afraid of doing it. Uh, or they think they're just not the type of person that can pull it off. And that is, uh, I don't even, I hate to even call it public speaking, but it's speaking to groups, but in a very specific way with a very specific outcome, uh, that obviously results for entrepreneurs in more sales, more customers, uh, for their business. And today my guest is Jan Saunders. Marish. She is the author of, of 17 books, which include titles uh, in the world famous for dummy series. So she definitely understands the communication at all levels and to make things simple. But she's also the creator of Talk for Profit, where she helps authors, speakers, business coaches, service providers, um, really business owners in I couldn't believe the the number of different industries and the types of industries uh, that she works with. But what she does is she helps them create group talks that sell. And the outcome of that is it builds sustainable, predictable income uh, month in and month out. So they never have to rely on just one-on-one selling again. So I'll welcome to the show. Jan Saunders Marish, how are you doing today, Jan? I am great. You? Fantastic. Well, I I, I I always love talking with uh, people in the speaking business. Not just people that speak, but people that really understand the the both art and science of speaking. Because to me, sometimes listening to a great speaker is is like listening to a symphony. You know, it, it's just it just really is. Uh, fascinating to listen to. Uh, and when I say great speaker, it may not be what a lot of people think of, uh, because, you know, a lot of people think of, of a great speaker as being that Tony Robbins, right? That Joel Olstein, right, a person right. that is just smooth and, uh, you know, has it down and is, you know, the cadence is everything is perfect. But one of the things that I found and what really intrigues me about what you do is you actually help people be able to become great speakers in the sense of communicating with their, their audience, which doesn't necessarily mean that they are perfect in the sense of, you know, no ums and ahs or perfect in, in, in their cadence or that velvet voice, but they're perfect in really communicating a message that has that outcome of people wanting to do business with them. Can you talk a little bit about that, the difference between the great speaker and what people might commonly think of versus a, a great speaker in the sense of being effective in their business? Yeah, I think this is probably one of the biggest misconceptions people have. And um, the reality is, as long as you are doing a, a group talk on a topic that you're passionate about and that you have a system and a formula to follow, so to speak, um, it is really a skill. I mean, Tony Robbins always wasn't always that brilliant a speaker. He started in the backyards of Los Angeles and was almost broke, and he got better and better. So, and the other thing too is a lot of folks believe that they need a different talk for different audiences, and and that's absolutely not true. Um, the best thing to do is to just go ahead and uh, you know develop this group talk. 
perfect the skill, practice it, and then just give it over and over and over again. And with that repetition, you just get better. Closing ratios go higher and, and that sort of thing. But it's it's absolutely not a myth or it is a myth that uh, you have to have that, so to speak, talking gene to be able to be successful at this. Yeah, I know a lot of people when they when they picture in their their mind's eye about a group talk, they're thinking about this stage and hundreds of people. But uh, a group talk can really be, uh, you know, anywhere from a handful of people to that that big stage. You kind of define that group talk and what uh, it needs to be effective, because there's people that say, well, it'll take me, you know, years to get to where I can get in front of an audience big enough to actually, uh, you know, make a difference in the return on my business. But what are the realities of that on the on the size of what a group talk is um, and, and really how long that talk needs to be for someone to, to be able to jump in and get started with this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I, I want everybody listening to think about this. Um, maybe they've been to a home party. Okay, they've been to maybe a pampered chef party or a Tupperware party. Is that a cast of thousands? No. <laughs> it's a handful of people that get together and cook together or whatever they're going to do. And, I, I, again, that's another misconception is that you have to get in front of a, a cast of thousands and, you know, prepare forever and ever. Um, pardon me. The very best group talks are those that – um, get to the point in, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and basically tell a story that gets their audience moving in the direction that they want to move them in. And the very, one of the keys to the success of this whole thing is that a group talk connects your audience to you because there's a, a real important, um, which they say uh, a connection that you make with your audience because they get to know you, they get to like you and they get to trust you. And it's by the way that you do your talk and present the information, you get that what is called the no like trust factor immediately. And once someone knows you, likes you and trusts you, they're much more apt to purchase from you, not only the first time, but time and time again. And, 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 you know, and that's really is true because you, I've known people that have done talks that, that, you know, I say, they say, I just got back from giving a talk to a, a, you know, small group of, you know, attorneys or doctors. And I say, well, how many? Oh, there's like 12 there. And I thought, oh, well, that couldn't have been worth your time. But it's remarkable of how much business that turns into because of the, uh, you know, what they were able to, uh, what they're able to convey in that, and that value they are able to, to, uh, to show. And a lot of people realize, especially, you know, if they're listening to this and understand that this is a talk for business, it's for entrepreneurs, um, you know, just about any business is that for a sale to occur, uh, and for a business to be successful, that's what has to happen is there has to be a transaction. It can't just be an entertaining talk. And, and exactly. so, so when people are talking, are, are selling one on one, um, and they're successful at it. They have a formula, just like you talked about with, with, uh, a talk. And for a talk to be successful into creating a sale, there is a formula. It's not just to kind of go up there and, and, you know, let's do a big information dump on, on what it is you do. But there is a very specific formula in, in putting this together. What, what are some of the key differences between you know, someone selling one-on-one versus selling uh, and and doing a group talk? Um, well, the similarities, it, as you pointed out, are that they need to have a system. Um, what I find a lot with people is they might go out and do a group talk and to say, gosh, everyone loved me. They they clapped, they stood up, they patted my head and shoulders. said, that's the best thing I've ever heard. And they walked out in the empty handed. And the problem was that they were educating and they weren't really moving that audience where they need to go. Now there, there are th- three key factors that, that I teach that I, I feel are really, really important in getting this message heard and to move that client or customer to a decision. And I don't have a lot of time today to share all about it, but um, the first thing I mentioned earlier, and that was the 
uh, no like trust factor. And that's you gather people who you believe are going to be your target audience, and there's a, certainly a way to do that. And then you create a strategically designed group talk that only needs to be 45 minutes, maybe an hour. But Well, I guess a lot of places that you get to talk, they're not going to give you the whole meeting or everything. Oh, and, 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 exactly, exactly. And, um, and then the second part is um, to have a simple objective. And I always say you got to know your numbers. So if you're going to go ahead and put group talks on your marketing calendar for for this year or next year, you need to have an objective. And uh, so what I was going to do is to just share with you a, a couple things that people have done just to give you an idea as to how impactful group talks are. So um, I was working with a client, a, a business coach, and she does a full-time service business. And just by adding two group talks a month, she increased her monthly revenue by 25%. I mean, that's, that's just startling. And then I work with a lot of people who are part-time um, service providers, and I worked with a, a professional organizer, and she works her business about 20 hours a week, and just by adding two well-designed group talks a month, she was able to increase her revenue by 50%. So once they started giving their group talk, it, it – um, blended perfectly in with their daily activities without taking a lot of time. It's one of these things that's very reasonably priced, easy to do, doesn't take up a lot of time, and and it for the return on investment of their, their time and effort, it's it's really a no brainer. Oh, I would say so. Yeah, a twenty five percent increase in revenue is, is 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 remarkable for adding, you know, a couple of uh, a couple of talks. Yeah, it's 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 really easy to do when you know the right way. And then the third key uh, is in magnetizing your talk. And by that, I mean, you know, in nature, magnets naturally attract whatever they're supposed to attract. And that's what we're always trying to do as, uh, as business owners is to, to attract that ideal client, what I call your ideal client avatar. So um, I have an interior designer that I'm working with. And what she does is she does a, a short group talk um, and she calls it martinis and mantles. And so what she does is she has people come in and they see how to uh, basically redecorate or redesign their mantle uh, with stuff that they already have. And this is her way of getting people who want to know more. And then she sets up consultations from there. Um, I have another uh, client that I work with who is a self-published author, and she has done this amazing book series called the I Know series. And so what she's doing is set, setting up play dates um, so that children and their parents uh, can come to an event and experience, have that magnetic experience of these are interactive books. It's really, really clever. But you have to have a hook, a magnetic hook, and then a magnetic experience to really get uh, people to have that natural connection with you, and those are a, a couple of things that um, I share in my in my program. Well, you know, and, and that really is. I think I, I want to make sure that we don't gloss over this when you're talking about the 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 the, the decorator, the the, yeah. the interior mm -hmm. designer. Uh -huh. um, you know that you focused on. You know, her talk focused on strictly decorating a mantelpiece. Right. A lot right. of people think that when they do a talk, you know, how in the world am I going to cram everything that I do into 45 minutes? And, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, I, I think one of the things that we talked about that, uh, you know, when you say you have a formula and one of the things you, know, you help people with is, is realize that you don't have to dump everything you do into a 45 minute talk. But by focusing on one particular uh, hook that that, you know, magnetic, uh, you know, piece of it is what you're creating then by, they naturally want to find out more about what you do and, and uh, you know, more about how to work with you to do other things. So, so you can just have a very, you know, small piece of what you do be that magnetic uh, piece of content that you can do a 45-minute talk on and not feel that you have to dump everything in there, right? Exactly. I mean, 
people have spent their careers learning what they know and to, to believe that you can share whatever everything that you know in 45 minutes or an hour, it's just impossible. <laughs> so what you're trying to do here is to give someone a little bit of a sampling about what you do. And it's pretty, and there, there really are kind of two aspects to this. What you want to do in a group talk is to share the what it is that you do and the how that you do it part is what you what you do when you are paid to help them to do that and that's the that's the kind of um, um balancing act that you can do beautifully in a group talk by just sharing the what to lead them into the how into the purchase of whatever it is that you're selling whether it be a service a product a virtual product, it works the same across all uh, all industries. It makes perfect sense. Now, one of the things that I have to bring up, because it, it, I would you know, just be shameful for me not to talk about this when we're talking about public speaking is that, that fear, right? And there's a lot of people oh, right. that, that know that I know <laughs> this is what I need to do. I know this is profitable, but it's like, you know, having someone that's deathly scared of height saying, you know, there's a hundred thousand dollars. You know, right over there, all you have to do is jump two feet over this this uh, deep gully to pick it up, and it's something that they just can't bring themselves to do. Even though they know it's right there, they know that that all they have to do is make that small uh, leap. What is the, the 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 secret to that? To people getting over it, because it really is seems to be one of the biggest obstacles, and to some, an unsurmountable obstacle, to actually taking advantage of the, you know the, the 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 huge opportunities there are in doing a group talk. Yeah, exactly. Well, first of all, is that you don't have to speak to a big group, and I think that's that's number one. Number two is. And, and a lot of my clients have shared this with me is, um, well, I want, I want listeners to think about this. If, if you're invited to a party and you don't know anybody and you're kind of sitting there by yourself, but then you finally strike up a conversation about something that you know and that you're passionate about, chances are nobody could shut you up because you just get excited about it. And that's the whole idea about a group talk is to connect with the passion that you have for what you do. Because most entrepreneurs, they're, they're number one, they're in their business to help people first and they love that piece of it and they love, um, and, and then the, the, the money is almost secondary. So it's connecting the passion for what you do to the group talk so that it's just, it just comes out of, of, of your mouth very, very naturally. And I've had many clients say, gosh, as soon as I connected those dots, I got over myself and I could say, okay, this is what I can do for you. And that was the biggest way to overcome it is just connecting the, the passion to the message. Well, you know, I, and, and that's one of the, the things that, that uh, you know, I've seen and the feedback I've seen from uh, the people that have worked with you, their clients is really getting past that and putting together something that, that can be really powerful. And uh, what, what, comes to mind is when you think about all the starving artists, the the uh, unknown uh, musicians that are just just you know geniuses that nobody knows about. Uh, there's people get their talk together. They have this great talk, this dynamic, this magnetic talk. But then there comes the part of now who do. Who do I give this talk to? How do I get in front of people to do this, to, to take ad, ad, advantage of this? And that's one of the things that uh, I see that you don't kind of leave them hanging with. Hey, okay, now you got a great talk. Then you kind of help them uh, figure out how to quickly get in front of people to deliver that talk. Yes, exactly. I call that gathering your power circle. And there's, you know, everybody's heard of the target market, but um, this goes one step further. And I have a very clever, I think it's a very clever filtering system to reach and niche the market in a way that you're getting not only people who 
need what you have, but they want what you have. Because you know what? Everybody knows that they need to go on a diet or lose five pounds or whatever it might be. But what they really want is a hamburger and fries. (laughs) So it's really important that you find people and put in your power circle in your target market that want what you have. Even though everybody else might need it, you have to find those people. And the second thing is that you need to make sure that you're finding people that that want what you have and can pay for it. And there's there are some some ways that you can uh, go through your contact list and find these people. And then uh, you go ahead and do a launch event right in your you know in your own home or in a client's home, and then the whole the whole process starts from there. Well, yeah, I, I, so that, I think that right there is one of the missing ingredients from a lot of, uh, you know, when I've seen a lot of people that, that teach people to, to, to do speaking or, or train is, is they may be really good at, at putting together a great talk, but then it's like, you know, what do you do with the talk? You know, how, how do I do that? And it seems like, you know, you, you have uh, uh, that covered from, from the success and the results that, that uh, I've seen of the people that you work with. So if right now you, you we have people that are listening that that know that this is something that they need to do. They know that that this can make a really big difference very quickly in their business, uh, and they all they have need, they feel they need to get past this fear of failing. They feel that okay, I know I want to do it, but I don't know what to do first. You know what what comes first? Do I do I put mm-hmm. together a talk? Do I put together a marketing package? Do I uh, talk to people? Um, and you've got to have this uh, this formula that, that you have that, that you put together that allows people to kind of know exactly here's what you do next. Here's the, the here's the map, the roadmap, if you will, on how to do this and how to get where you, you uh, uh, want to uh, fairly quickly without taking uh, the d- detours that so many do when they, they get started with that. How can people find out more about, uh, you know, this, this, the, the way that you do this and, and this formula that you put together in, in not only putting together the group talks, but also getting in front of people to, to see these talks. Okay. Um, thanks for asking that. I offer a, uh, a, a training uh, program. It's, it's normally $97. Um, and the name of it is called uh, Talk is Not Cheap, How to Master Group Sales and Never Rely on One-to-One Selling Again. And um, what I've done is I've put this together as a free offer for um, your audience, and all they have to do is to go to www.talkforprofit.com forward slash free, and they will have access to this training. And what I haven't shared with your your audience yet, Jack, is that um, this system is a system that I learned early on in my career and have perfected it over the course of my career, which allowed me to sell a million dollars worth of a $20 product in 18 months. And it's it's a pretty amazing story, um, and uh, I, I kind of tell tell it there in in my free training and how I accomplish that. So if they want to take another step, they can go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's that 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 is remarkable and I think just a, a, a kind of a, puts a spotlight on on what you can do with talks. That it's not just about selling big ticket items, but you know, things across the board, you know, if you've, you know, $20 a piece, I mean, that's that's some pretty uh effective talking. <laughs> uh, to, yeah, so to be and, able to, and- yeah, and it's only possible um, by getting in front of a group. There's, there's just no other way of doing it. So. Yeah, well, that, that's that's you know one of the remarkable things that that I, I've known people that thought they were just going to be really, really frightened. And some of the people that have worked uh, with you that just thought you know speaking and and putting together talk was beyond their reach that they weren't 
you know, they just weren't that person that would be able to do that. And to see them, you know, go uh, above and beyond that is just uh, uh, remarkable. And w- w- what one of the reasons I feel that you are a, a, a true influencer in this, uh, in getting people past that, um, you know, not just the, the tactical part of speaking, but that, that fear and something that they didn't think they would be able to do uh, is just uh, what a, a true gift that, that, you know, obviously you have. Um, and for you to, uh, you know, put something together to allow people to, to take advantage of that uh, is tremendous. So, um, and also, I, I want to say how thankful I am for you to uh, to provide that training to uh, the listeners at Influencers Radio. So definitely uh, want to uh, take advantage of that. We'll have a link on our show post, uh, the talkforprofit.com forward slash free. So uh, thank you so much for uh, providing that and, and this really good information and for being on uh, Influencers Radio today. Great. Well, it was my pleasure, Jack. And, uh, I, you know, I'm speaking now about my passion and I just, I just want everybody else to, um, have a shortcut to what might really make a really big difference in their businesses and their, in the life of themselves and their family members. Well, fantastic. It was, uh, a really, really, uh, a good information today. And, and you have a, uh, a, a great way of sharing this and, and, uh, you know, people just, I, I think I see now why people feel so comfortable that they can do this with, uh, uh, with your guidance, the way that you are able to uh, walk people through this. So, um, definitely check it out, talkforprofit.com and the free training at talkforprofit.com forward slash free. Um, that's it today for Influencers Radio. Uh, I want to thank my guest, Jan saunders Mars for being here and, uh, and sharing this great information. Until next time, remember, you are the only real game changer. You've been listening to Influencers Radio. To get all past shows and updates on future shows, visit InfluencersRadio.com today. Or follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Influencers Radio. 